Good morning, I'm reporter Jay Shave, and I'm reporting live here in Pomeroy, Ohio. Now it's just past 8.45 and we're here for one thing and one thing only. We're here for the destruction of the old Pomeroy Mason Bridge. Now the old Pomeroy Mason Bridge has cheated death three times now and this is the fourth time that ODOT has rescheduled the destruction of the bridge. Now the other three times it has been delayed because either weather or the river was up too high. Now we're here for the destruction. Now it's going to take 19 C4 charges to take the bridge down for take the bridge down. Now that's from pier to pier, 19 C4 charges. Now once the they're going to sound three different sirens. Now the one has already passed, which was five minutes till, and they had just sounded the one for three minutes till, and then there will be one more, a minute till, and then they'll sound one final one after the bri historic bridge is dropped into the Ohio River. Now, if you can get a shot at this, it's costing one million dollars to get a to get the uh, bridge down in the river. Now the river channel will be closed 24 hours after the bridge is dropped in the river to allow for cleanup crews to clean the debris up from the river. Now five minutes till all the roadways and the new bridge was closed so that nobody would be in harm's way. Now after the bridge is dropped into the river it can be anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes after for the roads to open back up. Now. We're here, and there it goes, folks. If you can see that there, they just dropped it into the river. Did you see that? That was looking at the duck channel. They just blew, blew the center span up. If you can zoom in there, it's no longer there. Are you getting this? They just zoomed it up. I didn't get a siren. It was a little quicker than what I imagined. Can you get that? I got it. It all didn't go off though. Because they've got dynamite on back. They just took the center span down into the river. Now, if you can zoom in on that, are you zoomed in? I was. I seen it hit the water. Can't believe I missed it. I didn't see nothing hit the water. I, I it. saw I, I, I just see. turned it. I didn't even look at right geese. when I saw it. And then I was up there trying to get people to get geese gone by. I saw it, but I didn't get yeah. people. They, they didn't do all the sirens. Yeah. There's that delay of the noise. Too. That was neat. You don't normally get to yeah. see how big a difference that is. See, oh, they've yeah. got charges set. Don't fall Now that was the center span of the bridge that just dropped into the Ohio River. Yeah, no, no, not really. Like you can a, see where the water is a little bit further back. Yeah, 50 yeah. feet or so it's still hanging. Yeah. It was a little before I expected it to be, but it is gone now. And the whole wow. riverfront is covered in people watching. Everybody's honking. And yeah, West Line. Because not over that side. Right there where the, the pier is. They got charges sitting all that. Yeah. Seems like we get blocked by the door. Hey, man. Now we're waiting here to see if they're going to take the rest of it down or not. Just bear with us, folks. They got a car going across. Oh, I'm missing it. All right. So you didn't hear the whistle blow? Now the old Pomeroy Mason Bridge was built back in 1928, and it is 1928 to 2009. It's a long time the bridge has changed. It's very historic, but you can tell the center span of the bridge is dropped into the high river. And we're just waiting here to see if possibly the rest of the bridge. I do believe this is all that's going to go down. I believe this is the center span. So we're just uh, waiting here momentarily. Everybody's starting to move now. 
I'd found a little bit of research if you've watched my historic journey, my second one on the new Conroy Mason Bridge where it lights up purple. I found out a little information about the lights. The lights are said to be seasonal. They can change them to any color they want depending on the season. Just right now they are purple. So maybe at Christmas they'll be red and green. But we're here and I do believe that this is all that's going to happen for the old Pomeroy Bridge. Um, so I'm going to go up here now and I'm going to thank Corbett for letting me use his yard. If you can follow me here, I'm going to come up and thank Corbett. Uh oh. I better get out of the way. I don't know. Like thank you for letting me use your yard. Right, this, is a, this is a great view. Um, you were telling me that your house has a little it's bit going of wave. the store to it. Yes, you're that? going wave. Well, it was built back in 1892. <laughs> the judge is from the area, Judge Walker. Wave, wave, wave. Wave, wave. Wave, wave. Wave, wave. Wave, There's just all kind of history in there, so. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, letting me use your no problem, uh, little hill time. here. It was a great view, a great sight here. And uh, that's all I got, folks. So back to you.